I put the dogs out from the backyard here and um, I had the door closed about 30 seconds. And within that 30 seconds, my Chihuahua Carly started to bark hysterically. I came out to see and as I did, I actually come out to get mad at her for barking. And I saw Silas, my Newfoundland dog, just go around the corner of the house here. And as I got to where he was, there was a gentleman just here um, with him in his hand, uh, grabbed his leash and had his own leash hooked up to his leash and uh, was dragging him down the driveway. And I asked him, I said, excuse me, what are you doing? He said he's taking his dog. And I said, uh, no, you're absolutely not. And I, in the moment, I panicked and I just went over and I pushed him and I punched him in the face. And I, I took my dog back because there's no way that I was going to let him take that dog. No way. You know, this guy was around 5'8", five, 5'9", five, and there's no way that I was going to be able to wrestle the dog out of his hands. So the only thing that I could think was just punch him. He was kind of shooken up and kind of startled that I even approached him. And uh, when I took the dog back, I, uh, he ran down the street, and that was that. I wouldn't have known if she hadn't barked. And uh, a friend said to me, she's like, you know, never underestimate the power of a yappy chihuahua, you know, and it, it's true, you know. Um, but, you know, she's my guard dog. You know, some people have big Dobermans, I have a chihuahua. <laughs> they are like my children. If you ask anybody, um, they are like my children. I treat them just like I would treat my own children. Them, like I said, you know, it's really dark on the side of my house. And all I could see is he had his hoodie up. So I didn't really get any identifying marks to be able to identify who he was. Um, and in the moment, like, there's so many things that I guess I could have done. But, you know, I'm not a great detective, so I just want the dog back. That was my main concern.